Goes the session's mayor. Red light blinking on the gates. Set for the second, Belmont Park. Ready. Gates have opened. They're racing. Don's legacy was bustled out from the inside. He's pretty keen to try and hold the lead. Also away well. Looks like magic. And I, Micey, flew the gate, speeding across. Pushing up on the inside soon after is Sea War, who's nice and handy into the first turn. Bedouin Bell drifting back, then Tinto Bell. Being followed in the middle between horses, Paris Report, and outside of it, Semigel. They're followed further back on the rails by Pleto, who's back in company with Grand Randall. And last of all is Frosty so the favourite back with only one behind it now at the 550 and the leader is Don's Legacy about three quarters to a length I might see two lengths to looks like magic which is up there running third over on the outside of Sea War who's being urged along Bedouin Belt at the outside begins to run on in front of Semigel and well back in the field Grand Randall and Pleto with the task in front of her at the 275 Don's Legacy joined by I might see Bedouin Bell two or three lengths away then is Pleto but it's starting to finish full of running down the outside. Don's Legacy kicks from Bedouin Bell and Pleto coming. Don's Legacy, Bedouin Bell, Pleto won't get there. Don's Legacy kicks. Don's Legacy, I thought, may be from Bedouin Bell in a tight go. Another bob of the heads go here in the second. Bedouin Bell put a dive in at Don's Legacy. Pleto ran third from Semigel or Imicy. Then Seawar looks like magic. Paris Report followed further back. Frosty Bay, Grand Randall and the last of them home, Tinto Bell. It's another very tight go. Between Bedouin Bell, Don's Legacy, Don's Legacy or Bedouin Bell. Bedouin Bell got a real dive at Don's Legacy in the last stride. Don's Legacy's head was going down. Did it cling on? Bedouin Bell. One gets at Don's Legacy. Don's Legacy, number one is the winner. Chris Graham from two, Bedouin Bell. Jason Whiting, five, Pleto, who stood them a mighty start but was running on strongly. And back there fourth, number 10, I'm Icy, in front of six, Emma Gell. One, two, five and ten, Don's Legacy. Second run back in this preparation, the patronise just gift gilding for David Harrison and ridden by Chris Graham. Bedouin Bell second, also by patronise. Jason Whiting in the saddle for Lou Luciani and Pleto, the playing god mare, trained by Dan and Ben Pierce, ridden by Jared Noski. Well, Pleto had one behind it at the 600 metre mark and has taken off a lot of ground from Don's legacy, Bedouin Bell, but it was Don's legacy who's kicked to do enough and hold on to win by a nostril. A nose margin, three quarters, second and third in 112 flat. 36-1-1 is the closing sectional time. The winner is raced by David and Jenny Harrison. N.W. and M.L. Shaw. Graham, Megan Donovan. Howie Shaw. Also K. Apostolos. Tommy Tan. G. Youngs in the Darling View Thoroughbreds, whose sire patronised Quinella's the race. The runner-up is out of Bedouin Lass for Jill Lewis, trained by Lulu Chiani, written by Jason Whiting and Pleto, the playing god, Storm Leto, Mayor for Mungrup stud, Nigel Ride, G.R. Manasco and Jared Noski, the rider for Dan and Ben Pierce. As Chris Graham comes back to Brittany in a tick, the happy 30th bow plate, two after one, will be the next a field of eight. No changes there as we go downstairs. Some very tight racing in the first two events, and that was... Desperately close with Don's legacy clinging on Brit. It was very close. Both races have uh, made it tough for you, Darren, to call, but uh, very tight in the end. It was Don's legacy. David Harrison's not here. Where's the boss? Uh, the boss is uh, recovering today. He's um, had a big day down at Mungrup yesterday, having a look at a few weanlings and yearlings, so he's having the day off. Well, hopefully he's able to pick out a, a gem, obviously the online sale on at the moment. What did you think on the line? Did you think you'd got it? The stable has had a, a run of bad luck this week with a couple of scratchings pre-race. You must have thought that uh, could the bad luck continue or did you know you had it? Oh, I, I was pretty sure he'd hung on. Um, it was a great ride by Chris. Uh, he, he just sort of settled him down in front and the horse kicks hard, but he's no well beater, but he's a nice, honest little horse. Did you have confidence today knowing that he probably mapped to find the front? Yeah, definitely. And he, he had come on from his first up run. So we were reasonably confident he'd run a really good race here. Congratulations on the win. 
Thank you, Brittany. A nice performance there by Don's legacy. Chris Graham is uh, returned to the winner's circle. Certainly has, Brittany. Might not be the last time. He's got a wonderful book of rides today. Chris, tell us about how Don's legacy jumped because you had to bustle him pretty hard. Um, yeah, Mr. Harrison was keen to lead today. Um, he thought um, he needed to run last start, so today he was keen to lead and build him up. He doesn't have a huge kick, so I knew if I could an easy sectional, um, he'd be coming home strong. What about in the last couple of strides, better when Bell was coming hard, were you pretty confident you'd held on? Uh, I was unsure, I've run a lot of seconds recently, um, been on the wrong side, so I wasn't sure. What about another ride for David Harrison called Chicks Chatter in the next, what do you do from a pretty sticky draw? I, I, I would, I'm not sure in the instructions, but I think he'd roll forward. Um, roll forward last start, he was unlucky, just hopefully improve a couple of lengths to beat Queen, Queen Brown. Congratulations Chris, good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. Turns to the winner's circle after his suspension. As he mentioned, it's been a, a bit of a run of seconds. He's been so close, but uh, manages to get the right bob there by the most narrow of margins. Yes.